Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Quick and dirty time, as promised, about the new digital SAT. You see all of these wordings here, and what does that even mean? I got you guys because I made my own test for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in right here, guys, under their expression of ideas category. It doesn't matter, okay? The rhetorical synthesis. What the heck does that even mean? Because if you just read the descriptions, like, it's kind of hard to understand. So I'll show you guys right away the question. Okay, this is what the new rhetorical synthesis on the new digital SAT looks like, which really has no comparison, no precedent on any type of standardized test that's out there. So it's brand new, and this is probably, I don't, I'm not going to make a guarantee, probably one of the first places in the internet period that they're doing this in this detail. Okay, I mean, hopefully Khan Academy did make a video on this because Khan Academy partnered uh, with College Board to provide um, materials for the new digital SAT, but I'll try to beat them. Okay, so... This is called the rhetorical synthesis. What does that even mean? Rhetorical means you are arguing a point, you are being persuasive, but these don't necessarily have to be persuasive. It just means that I have a bunch of info here, okay? So based on this info, how am I going to accomplish this, okay? So it is kind of reminiscent of what we used to see in the uh, writing section or the English section, the grammar section of the SAT and the ACT. So. When we have these bullet points, guys, this, we're going quick and dirty style, right? Do not read the bullet points first, okay? So, I have a few things. He's doing research, okay? He's taking notes. I don't care about the details of the notes at the moment, just like we do on the regular reading. I want conclusion, right? Conclusion first, really, and then the intro. I want the big picture ideas. I don't care about the middle content yet, okay? The student wants to present the study and its findings, okay? That's the key. First, figure out what does he want to do? And then look at the details. Okay, so he wants to present the study, what happened, and tell us informatively, this is what I found out. Okay, so the findings, this is the key word here. Okay, so what's new? So transitioning from the old SAT, you guys, on the old SAT, we had third and fifth passage being about the science passages, right? You guys remember that video? Okay, so what were those about? We found some stuff. Found, you see that word? Findings, okay? So when I have a finding, it means what is the new stuff that I found out, okay? So with that, we can almost already, as we always do, right? Eliminate a lot of the answer choices without really reading the text, okay? So A is out. Why? Because that's what he did, but I don't know what he found out. Gone, okay? Same thing with B. That's not anything he found out. Actually, we're done. Wow, that was actually a really good tip. Good job, me, okay? Um, if you guys look at A, B, and C... All of those are probably what he did. This is the only one, okay? This and this, these Q words, okay? Indicative means indicates and thus, okay? I'm gonna make a list of words like this for you guys actually. When I have the word thus, hence, therefore, that means that is a result, a consequence, okay? So the word thus allows me to know that this is a conclusion. See, let me rephrase that for you guys. If I have the word thus, therefore, or hence in a science passage, that is my conclusion, okay? So that's really it. I honestly did not have to read any of the bullets, and that was it. So from knowing that this is a finding, okay? This is the only thing that has a finding. This is the way I would vastly prefer you guys to do it because I took this test, obviously, um, the new SAT, the digital SAT myself, and when I did this, even with my amazing reading capabilities, I mean, I'm pretty good, it still took me a good few minutes for me to actually figure out what's going on, comprehend it, and answer. Okay, I don't want you guys to do that. So focus on just, okay, it's research. I need to find a finding. That's it. That's D. Because ABC, don't, they don't have it. Okay? That's it. Last key here, guys. And that is the last thing I'm going to leave you with. You guys can pause the screen and read through the bullet points. You know, but the word concluded. He concluded that. That's another key. Okay? So... When you have this rhetorical synthesis, that is the new, brand new type of question, okay? Do not read the bullet points first. Just figure out what does the student want to do. And from that, you can go on to the key words and look for those. In this case, it was present the study, findings. So what am I looking for? Conclusion, therefore, hence, consequence, results, any of those things. And if you're like, how would I know to look for those words? Well, those are in my earlier videos. You guys watch those, you should be fine. This is a science passage, except it's not a passage, it's a little paragraph, but they are bringing, so it's made by College Board, they're bringing what they used to do on the old SAT into here, okay? So I'm gonna be referring a lot to my older videos as well, so make sure you watch them, right? And you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that, right? I don't think I've ever said that actually.
So please do that. Um, so I can just keep making this for you guys. So this was our first entry into the new SAT. This was not as quick as the usual quick and dirties because this is brand new and I wanna make sure I touch every base. And do go through guys on College Board on the official website. There are practice tests out there. There are four of them out there, okay? Um, and come up with questions, right? Jay, I have no idea what this question is. I have no idea how to study for this. I'll put that on my priority list and just cover all the questions as we go. I mean, I'm gonna get to all of them, but I would prefer to do the ones you guys wanna do first. Yeah, like I'll show you right now. Like, y'all see this? Like, see this breakdown I made? Like, look at this, the percentages and yeah, I'm giving too much away, but like, I, I have everything ready, okay? So that's today's quick and dirty on the new digital SAT. And as I said in my last video, this is a great opportunity for you guys to stand out against other people who are gonna be struggling with this new crazy test, okay? So study every day with Sexy J. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.